Well, as we approach the end game on the restoration of the Explorer, it's time to take these running boards off, refinish them, and put on these, at least some new molded step tread is what they call that. And I got the exact same kind as it came with. And to remove that, I just take a putty knife, take it off. My Explorer has mud flaps on the back and it says Explorer on there. And I'm going to salvage at least that chrome piece at the bottom with the Explorer logo. But I think I'll go and get some new rubber for the mud flap before I reinstall these after painting them. But I like that feature. So, I better get to work. It seems like this 3M trim tape is going to come up pretty easily. You know, with just a scraper. My plan after this is to take my sanders. I have a rotary sander, an orbital sander, and a pad sander. I'm going to take to this and finish it off nice and smooth. Holding this kind of side trim just goes along the inner lip is uh, in a couple spots you can see that there's rivets. And they're easily taken care of just like that. You can see I drilled out the one end of the rivet. I'll just use a punch pin, knock them through, and remove this kind of side molding trim that goes along the whole entire running board. I'm making a, a little punch out of a nail that I have clamped in my Versa vise. I don't know if you guys ever saw one of these. These are great for guitar making. You could like turn it sideways and uh, these are great little American made vices. If you can find one on eBay they're also called parrot vices. Uh, Shop Fox made, makes one that's like made in China that is a copy or a knockoff. But if you can, find one that's made by Versavice, made in the United States of America. It'll last you your lifetime probably if you use it what it's made for, and your kids also. I'm going to take this file, just kind of flatten off, flatten up the little tip right there of this nail, so I can use it as a punch and get those rivets out. I don't know if we're going to be able to see that, but just about 20 strokes of that file, flatten the tip of it. I have a grinder, but sometimes just clamping it up and using a file is much faster. So, there's the piece that came out. So there's about eight rivets on each side, so I'm just going to go down the side and knock them all out. And wish me luck that this trim piece comes off of there easy and it's not adhered down too much with super strong industrial strength glue. Well, it looks like we're having our first bit of what most people would call luck because this does pull away easy. As you can see though it's not clean. You can see it's got a little bit of adhesive that's kind of stretching and sticking to it so let me pull the rest of this off because I can't one hand it, but it looks like it's going to come off pretty easy. It's nice to see what color it used to be before it faded out. Now to look for a wrench to take off these mud flaps. Looks like a 3 8 or it could be metric, who knows. For home use, you can't beat Craftsman tools. Mine are pretty old, and I think that'll do me. I think I'll look for a socket, just in case. Well, that's what it looks like without the running board on. There's the dual wheel sticking out there. As you can see, it's dirty in between where the running board made contact with the body. So when I take these out to get them painted I'll probably clean this up and buff it out just to make it look nice and new under there. Well it's starting to get dark and I just finished the driver's side. 
running board, took it off. And nothing's easy on the Explorer. Some of these screw heads were like stripped out, so I had to get in there with a pair of vice grips and get them out. But I managed to get the driver's side off too. Well, I'm taking a little time to take these running boards and hose them off and get some of the grime off of the bottom of them. It just makes for a cleaner painting process if you wash them and scrub them down first. So I have a bucket full of uh, solution, some of this. Then I'll take some naphtha or some acetone and get everything off. But there's some problems with these. For example, I don't know if you can see it, but there's some checking, cracking on some parts of it that you can see here. And so I made a decision on how to go about painting these. I did call up Mako Auto Paint. That's one of those one day places. I know they have Earl Scheib. They're all about the same. I sent them pictures and asked for a roundabout estimate. And because it's fiberglass and because there's a few issues with uh, checking or cracking here and there on the finish, they're going to charge about $250 a piece to paint these. And I'm just not going to pay that. If you guys remember, my goal at the beginning was to get this roadworthy at minimal expense with the exception of mechanical. Mechanical I'll go ahead and spend the money. Cosmetic I'll do myself so that's what I'm going to do. He gave me some tips on the best way to do these myself. He said use an enamel paint. He recommended a plastic primer made by Rust-Oleum and said use Rust-Oleum enamel paint over that and maybe shoot it with a clear coat and it says it he says it should last you for what you want it for. It's not the best, but it ain't no 500 bucks either. I think it's about $6 a can. I'll see how far that takes me, and I'll try to do a nice job. And we'll see how it turns out. Okay, well, the running boards are all cleaned off. And I just got them sitting up here against the workshop or the man cave. And I'm going to make a trip down to Lowe's or Home Depot and look for some paint in a nice color. I'm thinking either white or a metallic or hammered silver. So if you guys could help me out a little bit and put in the comments section whether you think I should paint these running boards white or silver and please no other colors I pretty much got it narrowed down to those two. I know people have all kind of uh, different preferences. Somebody might even say zebra stripe or purple or some weird color like that. But I'm looking at white or silver. So if you like the video, uh, please comment on that color. Uh, subscribe. That way you can get updates on future videos. Ask any questions, and if I can, I'll answer them. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.